Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on postoperative ileus. Postoperative ileus describes a deceleration or arrest in intestinal motility following surgery. It is classified as a functional bowel obstruction and is very common, particularly after abdominal surgery or pelvic orthopedic surgery. Although innocent in the majority of patients, it can be a sign of other intra-abdominal pathology. In particular a collection or anastomotic leak, as pus or feces will irritate the bowel, and often cause it to stop functioning. The risk factors can be classified into patient and surgical factors. Patient factors include, increased age, electrolyte derangement, neurological disorders, such as dementia or Parkinson's disease, and use of anticholinergic medication, whereas surgical factors are, use of opioid medication, pelvic surgery, extensive intraoperative intestinal handling, peritoneal contamination by free pus or feces, or intestinal resection. A postoperative ileus is simply a delay in the return of normal bowel function. As a result, the symptoms of postoperative ileus may be the same with mechanical obstruction. The common presenting features are failure to pass flatus or feces, sensation of bloating and distension, or nausea and vomiting. On examination, there will be abdominal distension and absent bowel sounds. In the patients with suspected postoperative ileus, the aim of the investigations are to rule out more serious pathologies and determine any underlying cause. Initial routine bloods should be taken, including full blood count and CRP, urea and electrolytes, as fluid shifts can occur within the adynamic bowel leading to acute kidney injury. Electrolytes, including calcium, phosphate, and magnesium, should also be checked and corrected accordingly. A CT scan abdomen and pelvis will confirm the diagnosis, and importantly also rule out any intra-abdominal collections or anastomotic leaks. This picture is a CT scan showing small bowel ileus. After excluding serious pathology like anastomotic leak, the management for post-op ileus is mainly conservative. Nil by mouth, ensuring adequate maintenance intravenous fluids. Start a strict fluid balance chart to monitor input-output. Daily bloods, including electrolytes. Correct any electrolyte abnormalities and monitor for acute kidney injury. Encourage mobilization is tolerated. Reduce opiate analgesia and any other bowel mobility reducing medication. To reduce the risk of developing postoperative ileus, preventive steps include. Minimize intraoperative intestinal handling. Avoid fluid overload causing intestinal edema. Minimize opiate use. And encourage early mobilization. That's all for this video. Thank you.